Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at a rate of change exam question. Um, I have a lot of people asking for videos on rates of change, and it's a, a topic that a lot of students find uh, tricky to do. So um, this is a, a good exam question. It's from 2016, I think it is. Um, and it shows uh, two parts where we're both, both parts are using rates of change. So, um, air is pumped into a spherical exercise ball at the rate of 250 cubic centimetres per second. So, straight away, we have a rate there. Find the rate at which the radius is increasing. So, there's another rate. Find the rate at which the radius is increasing when the radius is 20 centimetres and give your answer in terms of pi. So where do we start with this? We have to make our, our formula, our rates of change formula. Well, they're asking us to find the rate at which the radius is increasing. So the radius is d or, and the rate is time. So it's d or dt. Now, that's the starting bit of it. The way I like to do uh, the rates of change formula is I get my d or dt and I split it up into two separate fractions, my d or and my dt. And then I have a look and see, something's gonna go here and here. It's gonna be the same thing, um, it has to be the same thing. What else is it present in, uh, in the question that could go there? And the answer is volume. So air is pumped into a spherical exercise ball at a rate of 250 centimeter cubes, cubic centimeter, okay? So that's volume, which is dv. So dv, goes in here and here. So in order to find d or dt, which is what the rate at which the radius is increasing, I need to find d or dv and dv dt. Now, luckily for me, dv dt, I already have dv dt is 250. But what about d or dv? How do I find d or dv? I need to have something that I can differentiate that has to do with volume. Well, we're looking at volume of a sphere. So the volume of a sphere is four over three pi or cubed. I can differentiate that formula. I can do dv dr three by four over three is four pi or squared. So dv dr is four pi or squared, but I don't want dv dr, I want d or dv. So I can just say therefore d or dv, flip it upside down, is one over four pi or squared. So now I have my dv dt and my d or dv. So I can fill them in over here. So that is equal to d or dv, is this one, one over four pi or squared times dv dt, which is 250. That's dv dt. They want me to find the rate at which it's increasing when the radius is 20 centimeters. So I need to sub in 20 for or. So I can say at or equal to 20, we have one over 4 pi, now instead of or, I have 20, and it's still times 250. So that's equal to uh, 250 over, 20 squared is 400, uh, 400 uh, times 4 is uh, 1600, so that's 1600 uh, pi. So 250 over 1,600 is equal to five over 32 pi. So that there is the rate at which the radius is increasing when the radius is 20 centimeters. Part two asks us to find the rate at which the surface area is increasing when the radius of the ball is 20 centimeters. So the rate at which the surface area is increasing. So let's say a surface area is A, okay, A for area. So that would be DA dt. 
the rate of change of area with respect to time. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to split this up dA times dt. And I'm going to think, what can I use here? Okay, um, what, what else do I have in the question that I can use? Um, this question has nothing to do with volume, so I'm not going to use dV. What else is there in, or what else is there to do with, uh, with a ball, with a, a sphere? Well, it's got to be radius, isn't it? So d or, d or. Okay, so I'm putting in d or. So, um, I, I've actually already found, um, d or dt. So, uh, d or dt is up here. So I already know one of them. So all I need to do is find dA dr. So to find dA dr, how do I find the area of a ball? Well, I use the area formula. The area of a ball is 4 pi r squared. So dA dr is equal to 2 by 4 is 8 pi r. So then I can fill this in. Uh, dA dr is 8 pi r. And that's multiplied by d or dt, which is um, 5 over 32 pi. So let's see what we get here. Um, that would be equal to uh, 8 pi or times 5. Uh, let's put that as 8 pi or times 5, and you'll see why I'm doing that in a second, over 32 pi. And what do we get? We get the pi's are cancelling, and then we also get um, 8 into 8 is 1, and 8 into 32 is 4. So we end up getting uh, 5 or over 4. 5 or over 4. And then we want at or equal to 20. That's equal to uh, 5 times 20 over 4. 5 times 20 is 100. 100 divided by 4 is uh, 25. So that's equal to 25. And it's centimeters squared per second. Okay, so that's... Uh, just one exam question there on rates of change. Um, the important thing is to build the formula up like I did here and here, um, and then work through it um, as I did. Uh, I'll have another video, uh, part two, which is just another uh, exam question uh, on rates of change. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.